Height and slant height. The height of a right prism is the distance between two planes, the top and the bottom. So it would be the distance between this rectangle up here and the one that it's sitting on. Those are the two planes. A prism that appears to be leaning to one side is called an oblique prism. It's kind of like the Tower of Pisa. It's just kind of leaning. So we know that this is the height. We've learned that in grade school, right? And then the slant height would be this outside surface right here, this leaning height. That's not the same as regular height. Slant height is longer than height. See how the height is on a perpendicular line here? It's making a 90 degree angle right here. The slant height is the actual line segment right here. See? In a cone, the height would go from the center of the base straight up to the vertex, but the slant height of the cone would be the outside surface line segment right here. See? The height of this would go from the base and be perpendicular and go straight up. And we could put it here, we could put it here, we could put it anywhere, but typically in geometry you see it coming from a vertex straight down on a perpendicular angle, 90 degree angle. And a triangle it would come straight down from the vertex and hit the base. The slant height is this side measure. See? Now don't confuse these two because there's a big difference between them. The height is the distance between two planes. So if you had a triangle and you put it on top of a piece of paper and then, or a cardboard, and then put another cardboard on top of it at the vertex, the distance between the two pieces of cardboard would be its height. Its slant height, though, would be this measure coming down the side. So I have this triangular prism here, and it's a triangular pyramid, and if I went from the very center of the base right here and measured straight up to this vertex, it was six centimeters. But when I measured the slant height for this side, it was seven centimeters. See? So there's a big difference. So I want to show you something. I've got these SAT cards, and they're both, both stacks are three and a half centimeters high. They're identical, okay? I can even push them together and show you that they're the same height, okay? But what happens when I take this yellow stack and slant it and make it oblique? All right, let's see if I can do this with my marker rolling away. So I'm going to tap this, and I'm going to make it into an oblique shape. Okay. And we'll see what happens to its height. Look at. Now, its slant height ended up being 4 centimeters. When I measure its slant height like this, if I can line it up with that line, then the slant height is four centimeters coming down this way. But its height is still three and a half centimeters, see? It's still the same height as this one, but the slant height is longer. See that? Hmm. Okay, so that's the difference between height and slant height, all right? We'll be doing a lot of that in geometry coming up, okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.